FM24 has been out for a day or so now, and with the new game comes a new match engine. Now, we've seen glimpses of it in the content that Sports Interactive themselves released, but of course, that's just the clips they wanted us to see. It was the best bits of what they were trying to show with the new positional play. The inverted fullback, the changes to the libero that allows you to play that Pep Guardiola, John Stones in midfield style of play, um, but we haven't really seen a full game in all of its detail. So today, this is going to be genuinely my first reaction to a game in football. Football manager we'll see how it plays does it really feel amazingly different does it feel exactly the same chances are it will feel pretty similar with a few slight tweaks that make it a little better we'll give our honest review you can check it out with us now so with that being said let's jump right into it we are playing a game here as Leicester against Sheffield Wednesday our first friendly of the season a testimonial match for Jamie Vardy what a way to start a true football manager story Jamie Vardy from non-league to the Premier League and now here we are FM24 our first game now before we can start we have been asked to choose a set piece style, I guess it's called, a set piece strategy. There you go. That's what they're calling it. Um, I'm going to ask for the near post. Uh, I'm going to ask to defend the box. We're going to ask to deliver the ball into the near post. I imagine what I clicked earlier was where you like to defend. Don't worry, this isn't a proper save I'm playing. This is just to test things out. Um, and I guess we'll have people staying higher and we'll go for a in-swinger onto the near post. There you go. No idea if that's any good, but that's what we've chose. We're going into a game. If you want to see the tactic we've set up, it is a Pep Guardiola style system to see this new positional play so we have a libero this is Callum Doyle on loan from Leicester who's going to play that John Stones role moving into midfield Pereira is going to play that inverted wing back role so he's going to likely slot in in the midfield as well whilst Justin covers at the back in that Kyle Walker style inverted fullback we've got two midfielders two Mezalas on the attack who are going to attack these high spaces around the box but we also have two wide players who are looking to come inside so what we should see is those wingers those wide players should I say spreading out to allow space for our midfielders we'll hope we get that replicated in game this is just to see how the game plays out call it a gameplay demonstration whatever you like let's get into it as it does load though if you do enjoy the video make sure you do smash that like button for us and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we are doing double daily uploads for the beta period and after that still daily uploads on football manager I do apologize the noise that just came on there uh, let me see if I can quickly turn that off there you go, the sound is now off, apologies for that. But as I did mention, yes, we are doing daily videos here on the channel. So make sure you're not missed out and make sure you are subscribed for us and comment down below what you think of the new match engine. If you've tried it, let us know. If you're just watching it from this video, what do you think of it? Let's see what we're going to find out here. So we are playing as Leicester, as mentioned against Sheffield Wednesday in a testimonial friendly. This should be mentioned that this is still the beta, so things might change. So if there are things that are messing up, they're probably gonna get patched out if you're watching this a few months down the line. And on top of that, this team hasn't really train this tactic so there's a good chance the tactic won't work perfectly we'll go for the direct review point that's probably a little bit too quick still let's slow that down a little bit and let's see how this plays now a lot of people that I've heard have played this already have spoke about how the ball feels different in the way that it moves and straight away just from these initial passes I can agree with that it looks like it travels more like a real football which sounds crazy to say about a game made in 2023 um, but it does seem to move with actual ball physics they've said that there's more realistic deflections they being sports interactive uh, and the ball will react in different ways now to the way that it's kicked so we should be seeing that replicated in game and as I mentioned that's the first thing I'm seeing the smoothness of the ball when it's being kicked and how more realistic it looks I suppose now we are moving forward here and if we just have a look at our shape we've got plenty of players getting into the box it doesn't look like the wide players have completely held their Width, although saying that Maketeer is out wide we've got down here Mavadidi who's came inside to try and score we've got our advanced players here I don't know if this is uh, Callum Doyle it might be but this is definitely Pereira coming inside in that inverted wing back position and um, but Cast stays in the box there I do need to find out what number Callum Doyle is is he number five because if so he's definitely playing as a libero there because he was right up with our team and um, let's see yeah I do actually think Doyle is number five here you can see he's moved into the midfield alongside Ndidi I've probably got too many players trying to play in that area because we've got Pereira coming inside there as well but straight away he's dropped back here the libero has been refreshed this year if you didn't know to allow it to play the John Stone style role it needs to be set to a libero on support I believe to get the full effects but you can see straight away we are bobbing players forward and I might adjust the tactic at half time because there seems to be a few too many people getting in the box there but there's a deflection for you looking a little bit more realistic and we're going to get our first corner of FM24 let's see how it's going to work we've told them to go for near post but that was only before the game so they've had no time to train it um, I mean he's kind of gone for it we've got plenty of players in the box and I'm sure if you have a set piece coach and you properly start to tweak this we will see a better representation of 
of how it's going to look in game but we might have a chance to score here not quite it's cleared away and it goes out for another corner so look at you you are being treated to corners galore here and they have also mentioned you can do headers into the ground volleys into the ground as well and um, so we should be seeing a different variation in finishing styles when it comes to those chances there's a good chance now we're going to sit here and get a nil niller or something like that but hopefully we will see some goals we've got the ball here again now and we should see as we start to advance there you go Callum Doyle of Olibero stepping up becoming part of that midfield alongside Ndidi now he's stepping back and as we go forward he is getting in involved with the game as much as anyone else is really trying to bomb forward there you're going to need a player that can definitely be composed around those kind of areas you don't want a centre back playing as a libero on support when he's got free composure free passing it's just not going to work but I really do like this and I can imagine you can get so many like game breaking shapes from this and there's going to be a lot of things that are going to need to be patched out I imagine positional play being new to the game it's going to get exploited it's going to get tested a lot on those OP tactics and people will find ways to really almost break the game we always see it and within a few months it'll be patched out a little bit so some things might look a little bit more effective here than they might do if you're watching this video a few months down the line but straight away we're creating so many chances here yes we are a better team than Sheffield Wednesday but we're absolutely dominating and there's another deflection for you looking fairly realistic and once again we go for a corner so you know if you wanted to see corners in FM24 this is the video to come to McAteer's going to play it in he puts the cross in, we get ahead to it with Inacho, but it gets cleared away and it comes out onto the edge of the box. Now, what I'm going to do is switch this over to key highlights now because we've got a general gist of how the game's looking. Let's see if we can see some goals, some big saves, some major moments. We might have a goal from a corner here. Doosby Hall is going to play it in. We've got our players attacking in the far post here and it's Cassidy who rises and heads it into the back of the net. The Italian wonder kid from Chelsea on loan at Leicester gets the headed goal. Now, we did ask for deliveries to be put to near post, but as mentioned, that was, you know, right before the game they haven't had time to train it and I'm sure there can be some kind of variation but Cassidy getting in there our first goal of FM24 is from a corner with a new revamped corner system it couldn't be written in a better way really could it and here is James Justin now playing it to Ndidi to Ian Acho. you can see again we've got Callum Doyle and you can see it definitely is Callum Doyle it says his name is advanced as high as Ndidi is playing alongside him and Pereira who's tucking in almost creating a free in midfield and then we've still got the free at the back or it would have been if Justin was there but Windass has broke away, misses the shot. So what we're kind of seeing, if we try and replicate this on the tactics screen, obviously we'll go back to what we really have. Um, but if we create a separate tactic and copy the one that we've got here, what we're kind of seeing in game is a system that looks a little bit like this. So when we go forward, Cassidy and Dewsbury Hall are almost joining up with our wide players. Then Ndidi is being split with Pereira coming alongside him. And then Doyle is also progressing. So we are actually only leaving two men back. So we probably want to adjust what we are doing by saying half back for Ndidi is that going to make him drop into that defensive role let's see how that changes things going forward I just imagine it will leave Ndidi a little bit further back I don't know why all of our players have suddenly moved around the position they're playing there we go a little bit of a switch and we are back to what we wanted and then I'll tweak it again a little bit later on in the game and see if we see any other differences I'm no tactical expert by any stretch I'm still getting used to this as much as some of you will be I'm not Pep Guardiola I don't know the ins and outs of positional play I'm just kind of copying what they did in the sports interactive video um, I still think I'm out of a few too many players doing specialized roles and getting in each other's way and um, but this is what we're looking for these attacking positions these attacking scenarios we want when we go forward Cassidy and Dewsbury Hall as our Mazalas will be gaining space and going in the middle they've now said that there's better game sense from your other players particularly your wider players and they won't get in each other's way so we should see them hold the width despite being inverted or inside forwards inverted wingers whatever they are despite coming in the field they should hold their width still um, to allow for those advanced midfielders to progress but here is Cody he's split out onto that wide position now and you can see Justin I believe that's Justin there is it he's tucked in it's Ndidi Ndidi's tucked in in that halfback role and Justin has came across from the fullback area as the inverted fullback to become part of that three man defence really with Cody and Ndidi at that point uh, and there you go loads of players getting forward there a brilliant shot from Ianacho from outside the box makes it 2-0 on Jamie Vardy's testimonial he's not even playing and uh, we probably need to get him on at some point but I mean, you look, look, this is the match engine. It's not going to blow anyone away straight away. They have said FM25 is going to be the big upgrade when they move to the completely new engine of Unity. But straight away here, you can see the amount of bodies we're getting forward. And um, there is Pereira alongside Doyle, two of our defenders progressing. Maybe not what we want. Maybe we need to keep Pereira back a bit more. Ian Acho getting a shot off, but so many players there are coming in each other's way. I suppose really... 
I would have preferred it if McAteer was maybe holding this space out there. But again, they haven't been training this tactic. They're not going to know it very well. Um, and I'll adjust it in the second half to be a little bit different, see if it adapts in any way. We're not going to get two corner goals, are we? McAteer whips it into the near post as requested. Mavadidi brings it down. He's going to go into that wide space. McAteer picks it up again, uh, plays it across. And have we just seen a back heel on the line from Kalecci and Nacho to score? I mean, he is offside, but he definitely did just score a back heel. Um, we'll see it here as it goes a little bit slower. It comes in. And then he just flicks it with the back of his boot. I don't usually see that finish style. Maybe that's been in the game the whole time. Um, I've only just seen it today. Or maybe that's some kind of new animation for FM24. But it was definitely silky to watch. He's having a bit of fun against Sheffield Wednesday as Ian Acho here. But we have got one more highlight before half time. Uh, and again, after this, I'm probably going to cut it to the goals when we see some interesting moments. Um, I don't want you guys to have to sit here and watch a full game. You get the gist of what the match engine looks like. Very similar with some minor tweaks that have made it better. Uh, and corners have changed pretty much. Just in case it comes into play, I just want to show you what I am doing in the second half. And um, we've put Pereira as just a fullback, no longer inverting. He's going to be holding that position alongside Cody and Justin, who's going to tuck in to form a back three when we've got the ball, whilst Doyle will progress to be alongside Ndidi, being at Libero on support. He might even go past Ndidi with Ndidi on the defence duty. So let's put him to support and hopefully they'll start to play together as a little pivot in front of our three-man back line with our five really going forward. Um, but here we go. We do have a highlight straight away. I was going to cut to the only big highlight Lights, but we might have one already with a corner to the back post. Doyle heads it in, the man we've been watching, the libero. Um, and of course, the set piece changes aren't just for corners, they're for throw ins and for general set pieces when you're defending them too. So these kind of changes are having an effect. We've scored two set piece goals here, knocking it in from the back post and then bringing it down. Not the typical standard of goal that you would see from a set piece in FM. Um, so it's nice to see that they have updated these kind of things. Could we go for a fourth and a third from a set piece? Doosby Hall with the free kick, it's over the bar. And as we head into the fifth, 50th minute and um, I want to see like a nice build-up goal really. Wednesday are going to try and attack now though with a ball into the box it's a header it's a good save from Hermanson. I have heard some people saying the goalkeepers haven't looked great so far in 24 but that could have been just their experience with a couple of games so we'll see it might be that keepers are fine and it was just an overreaction maybe they had a bad goalkeeper after all. Hermanson is not he's been very good this year for Leicester I'm not a Leicester fan by the way it's just my hometown so I thought you know what it'd be a good video to do with Leicester because of course they are licensed within Football Manager with the official logo and kits and whatnot um, but yeah so far so good we're seeing a lot of domination from our positional play tactic Sheffield Wednesday would be expecting to lose this so now realistically if you were managing hands-on you might drop your line a bit deeper if you're doing this kind of style of football I have tweaked absolutely nothing I just chose vertical tiki taka uh, and then adjusted the players I haven't done anything about the actual instructions on the tactic so things could be completely different if you do it in the perfect Pep Guardiola way but I'm certainly not doing that here and there's another chance there from a corner this time to the opposite position Sheffield Wednesday probably have a set piece coach as well trying to score a goal against us they've got 1.22 xg we've got 3 xg it's been a very dominant performance and that is pretty much that for the game surely not three goals from a corner uh, I mean very close to being so and Didi just missing and the game's going to see itself out now is anything going to happen in the last 30 seconds it's going to blow us away or are we just quietly impressed with what we see and I imagine it is definitely going to be the latter um, again here on the ball just to see the positions everyone's taken up for one final time Pereira Justin and Cody are forming the defence whilst our libero he's now advanced into the midfield alongside Ndidi and we've got like our five-man line we should see Ndidi and Doyle kind of splitting apart and making a bit of space for each other although right now they are just sitting on each other which is probably a fault of my tactical instructions there you go they've split up a little bit and we've got our wide players holding the wide areas Callum Doyle still getting forward as at libero and as the minutes tick out it's just nice to see all of the positions are working as we expected clearly though Dewsbury Hall hasn't quite got the gist of everything just yet because he's given the ball away and there we go that is the game over that's our first look at the FM24 match engine trying to see what the positional play is all about seeing how the new corners work I definitely think it looks like an improvement but to be honest if you told me that this was FM23 um, I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference straight away that's always the case for me with Football Manager as someone that doesn't play 90 minute full matches every single time it's slight tweaks I don't really notice unless I'm looking for them but either way things look good overall this year for the changes they've made to FM24 I think a lot of us are very happy with it and we'll see what they bring us in FM25 but hopefully you're all enjoying FM24 so far I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time thank you and goodbye